Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on how to build and test your first software AG web methods flow service. So let's get started. First we need to start uh, the designer tool from the start menu. Designer is an Eclipse based tool that allows developer to implement flow services directly on web methods integration server. We want to make sure we have access to integration server and that we have a user on that integration server which belongs to the group developers. When designer starts you want to make sure you are in the service development perspective. Because the tool is used for different purposes you want to make sure that the user interface is tailored for the job at hand. I've already opened it this perspective but uh, if you don't see it you can in the designer tool select window open perspective other and then choose service development you also want to make sure that you're connected to your web methods integration server to do so click the add or modify integration server icon and make sure the server name port and credentials are correctly filled in Click verify server afterwards to make sure the server configurations are ok. Flow services are organized under package and folder structures into integration server. Today we're going to create a package called flow demo. To do so right click on the server you want to create the package, choose new package write in your package name and click finish. Now that we have our package created let's create a folder structure. It's best practice to call the root folder under our package the same as our package name. So we call the root folder under our package for flow demo. To keep things simple we will create one subfolder and we'll create our flow service directly under that folder. We will call this flow service my flow service. Next, we will define our service signature, which is the input and output parameters of the service. Input and output parameters are the names and types of fields that the service requires as input and generates as output. You declare the input and output parameters for a service using the input output tab. On the left side of this tab you define the variables that the service requires as input. And on the right side, you define the variables the service returns to the client or calling program. Now we are ready to start implementing the logic in our flow service. A flow service contains flow steps. A flow step is a basic unit of work that Web Methods Integration Server executes at runtime. The Web Methods flow language provides flow steps that invokes services and flow steps that let you edit data in the pipeline. So let's insert our first flow step. In our service we want to invoke another service which is a built-in web method service namely the string concat service in the WM public package. We also want another step which is also a built-in service, namely string to upper. You can also drag and drop services in your flow service. When you build a flow service, use designer to specify how information in the pipeline is mapped to and from services in the flow. 
The pipeline is the general term used to refer to the data structure in which input and output values are maintained for a flow service. It allows services in the flow to share data. When a service in the flow executes, it has access to all data in the pipeline at that point. So let's map our input data to the service just inserted in our flow and get the result back from it and map it to our output. Click the first step in our service and then click the pipeline tab. Map the input and output by dragging the correct parameter to them. Click Save. Do the same with the second step in our service by clicking on it. Now we want to map the output from previous step to this step input. You can, as mentioned, either drag and drop or mark the two variables and click the Create Link button. Next, we want to make sure to drop all pipeline variables that are not used by subsequent services in a flow. Dropping unneeded variables reduces the size of the pipeline at runtime and reduces the length and complexity of the pipeline view, which make it much easier to use when you're working with a complex flow. Make sure not to drop anything that will be used by the next step, for example, the variable value that will be used in our second step. You drop the variables by click and mark them and then click drop the selected variable. You can mark several variables by holding down control or shift key and click on them. Click save and do the same thing with the second step by clicking on it and marking it and dropping unused variables. Don't forget to click Save. Now it's time to test our service. Make sure no steps are marked in your flow service and click the green Run button. Choose Run As, Run Flow Service. Spe now specify the values for our input parameters and click OK. The service is executed and now you can see the result in the result tab. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Please visit optica.com for more nuggets of useful information.